locally bred dignitaries, and I'd like to recognize them. From Stoughton, the town manager, Robin Grimm. From Brockton, Mayor Robert Sullivan. Bob and I grew up on Dover Street in Brockton. He was my first boss. He had a paper route and he taught me the route and he'd call me whenever he couldn't make it. It seemed it was always raining or snowing when he wanted me to do the route. But hey, he paid me a dollar. The enterprise was only five cents then. Uh, good to see you, Bob. Uh, we have a couple of state representatives here, Claire Cronin and Michelle Dubois. Uh, three state senators, Michael Brady, Paul Feeney, and Walter Timothy. And the firm's putting this all together, the architects, DRA, the project manager, PCA 360, and the construction team from Michael, uh, Michael O'Connor Construction. But none of this would be possible without my colleagues on the school committee. We review budgets, vote on plans, interview the applying firms, etc. cetera. Uh, it's a big job and someone's got to do it and the pay is great. Representing uh, Stoughton is uh, Robin Zoll. She's the chair, Robin. Brockton has two representatives as it's the biggest town in the district. Uh, Tony Branch and Gerston Montero. Steve Uden is a Foxborough representative. Uh, Christine Gazi from Mansfield. Barbara Kaplan from Norton. Mindy Kempner from Sharon. Colleen Maloney from West Bridgewater, and I'm I'm proud to represent uh, East Bridgewater. I'm sure you've heard the goal of schools all over the world: STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Well, this building, this addition, this beautiful auditorium, enables us to add the letter A and make our complete goal: STEAM, science, technology, engineering arts and math. I'd like to introduce two of our performing arts students, a junior from Brockton, Alyssa Montero, and a junior from Norton, Olivia Stone, and they'd like to say a few words. Good morning and welcome to state and local officials, the Southeastern School community, faculty, staff, and students to the topping off ceremony for the new Southeastern Regional Arts Center. My name is Alyssa Montero, and I'm a junior in the Performing Arts program from Brockton. And when I graduate, I plan on going to college for TV production. My name is Olivia Silva, and I'm a junior in Performing Arts from Norton. And when I graduate, I plan on going to college for Performing Arts. Southeastern has always been a proud supporter of STEM programs. But with the construction of this theater, we're moving towards adding the arts to that STEM. Southeastern is known for its innovation and being up to date with modern technology and culture. This theater is a testimony to the hard work and dedication the school has put towards developing its arts programs into something entirely new. With the construction of this auditorium comes more opportunities for students of Southeastern to explore more artistic avenues and express themselves in a way that they may not be used to. Southeastern will become a true STEAM school. Many of the students, staff, and alumni have signed this girder as a way to commemorate their contributions to this building. In this way, they'll be a part of this building forever. Seeing the process of the theater coming together has been an amazing experience. From seeing 3D mock-ups to watching the construction every day we enter the school, it has not only been exciting, but unbelievable. We are gathered here today to watch the girder raised into place and begin the final process of putting this theater together. As someone who's been involved in the program through family, as well as being an active part of it, seeing this program grow from the small stage in Mr. Cross's room to a nearly fully built theater has been amazing. 
Ms. Across, Mr. Fernandes, Ms. Redding, Ms. Maggio, and Ms. Canastra have worked to, to build a program that brings people from all Southeastern communities together. This theater will allow the Southeastern community, as well as other communities, to view our program as something that should be taken seriously, and as a program that will produce actors that have a passion for the arts and for theater. We're a group that tackles heavy subjects and take what we do very seriously as well. All the while, we ensure that it's a fun program that people actually enjoy and come back to. We ourselves feel like a family. We come back every time for every play. We care about each other as a group. This theater means a lot to not only me, but to every drama student that is not here at this ceremony. Growing up, I never felt like I belonged anywhere. My peers were into the things that I was. Starting out my freshman year, I took a chance and joined the Southeastern Players. The second I joined, I was overflowed with love and acceptance. People from all different backgrounds, with different stories, and with different struggles all came together to celebrate their love for theater. Not only are the members great together on the stage, but we are great backstage as well. This new theater will not only be adding to the wonderful growth in talent, but the growth of friendships and acceptance it creates within our community. This place will be an important part of, our, of this school for years to come. Thank you to our dignitaries, our superintendent, and of course, the school committee for making this possible for all Southeastern students. Thank you, girls. And you can see the kind of students. Do you have any idea what the first production is going to be? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, work on that. Um, as in any case, I neglected to mention a couple of people. Uh, my good friend, Mike Petrosky, who is the representative from Easton. So this way, Mike could get a little extra, extra time. Um, I saw I can't read the writing here. Dottie, what's the last name? Oh, okay. Uh, Dottie from Easton. <laughs> Sorry. And Jim? Julian? Oh. Well, I guess that's it with the ceremony, except for the big raising of the beat.